Hi Libra, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel. If you're new, please subscribe and hit the bell and on all, uh, hit the bell then on all and I would appreciate that and I hope you do too because then you will be informed or notified when I go live. Monday, Wednesday and Friday I go live for free cards and for super chats and super stickers and join the family, the tea room. The chat is the tea room and we are a fantastic super fam uh, cyber family. So join in, we look after each other and we support each other besides the cards. So um, I hope you enjoy this reading and thank you very much to my cyber angels. Those are my faithful followers. And for those who are new, you can become a cyber angel too when you join us in the tea room and you, then you are become a fully fledged cyber f member, a uh, cyber angel. And my, thank you very much, my cyber angels, for supporting this channel. Without this channel, it would not be what it is. It would just be the cards, me, and that's it. Uh, so I love you, and I hope you enjoyed the live session la uh, last Friday, uh, this uh, yesterday, and I certainly did. I would love to uh, mingle with you. It's nice to stop and chat and discuss things. With some signs, it was unfortunate that that. that some people couldn't come because they most probably hopefully will be working as there are still people working thank goodness and I hope this time will pass quickly because I'm getting bored as well and that's why I went live to see whether anybody else felt the same way and would like to uh, mingle with me and discuss things the cards or the readings or tell me anything else um, and that's why uh, I did the live sessions. I had a fantastic time uh, with uh, some discussions with Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, and uh, there was another sign, two other signs that were fantastic. And uh, so, just go and have a look which ones they are, because I can't remember, because I've been doing readings again, catching up with my readings to get them done, and that's why now it's your turn. So thank you very much as well for sharing and liking and giving us the thumbs up. And I love reading your reactions. Most of them are absolutely awesome. Thank you for um, interacting with me. Um, so let's get started. I'm using the Archangel Power Deck and the Titanian Lenamon. And I'm also using the Romance Deck and the Answer of the Angels from Doreen Virtue and uh, uh, jo uh, um, Riley Valentine and I'm also using the color cards from Ina Seagull. So this is Monday and we're going to start off with Monday and Libra you've got the Magician a uh, number one so it's a new beginning and you've got Archangel Raziel and the Magician um, you can see he is doing magic there he is an illusionist so be honest and be uh, transparent don't be don't uh, give anybody any illusions and and don't give them anybody disillusions and don't have any illusions or b don't be disillusioned you know because you've got all the power all the talents all the knowledge you can do it you've got it all you're in your strength you can make this new beginning ha beginning happen you can make it happen this beginning okay so make sure that you do stand in your strength you can manifest life you you want what you need what you need will magically appear successful beginnings boom okay and underneath that you have the sun and the sun also means new beginnings it's the po most positive card in the Lenormand deck it means birth fertility if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions it means birth of a child or a project a new job and moving home because the sun also means moving home or going on holiday well that holiday you might be planning a holiday there will be delays at this moment but it also means something is being illuminated perhaps your holiday that you had planned is illuminated and you need more information 
will it go through will it not go through can you get your money back can you have an other holiday or plan a ho other holiday so make sure that you take note of this if you have holiday plans you are in spotlight uh, Libra because the Sun the star and the moon shines and gives light so you are in the warmth the warmth energy you are in spotlight perhaps a Leo might have an eye on you midweek on Wednesday you have the eight of Raphael and Raphael is the cups so you are so bored of the old mundane routine you want to cross that bridge and move on and go on to a new path and um, you want excitement and you want adventure but with this card with the eight of cups I always say don't throw away an old pair of shoes before you have new ones in other words take your time don't uh, do things in haste because you have to repent in leisure there is something better waiting for you do what you know is right for you a spiritual quest could that could also be a spiritual quest thinking about something before you take action and evaluating the situation like meditate or contemplate and think about it you have choices to make you have choices you've got the crossroads here or the road which road are you going to take the high road or the low road it will all uh, end up on the same road it doesn't matter you if you're taking shortcuts like I said you'll have to repent in leisure if you take the right road and you take your time then you know you're doing things securely and right you've got the nine of swords you might be having sleepless nights and worrying don't worry so much you, you this is a hawk right in other decks it's an owl and this is a hawk I don't know whether you can see I'll try to hold it right up but a hawk trying to get a different perspective on things like I said contemplate meditate or take time out to think don't throw old shoes away before you've got new ones so get a different perspective on how to start take the bird's eye view like the hawk and give your stress or worries to the divine and the angels and let them deal with it so that you can rejuvenate whilst having a good sleep use your wisdom in a lot of other decks it is an owl that is sitting by the window and the owl is for wisdom but this is a hawk so the hawk um ha yeah he has wisdom but he's not as wise as the owl but it means take a bird eye view now you can stand your ground because you've got the bear you are strong big and you are quite in um how do you call it um prominent um when you come into a room you just beam out that big beautiful secure self uh, self uh, assured person respect you you are forcing people to respect you and you don't th take bs the bear will defend what he loves and that he's passionate about now there might be somebody jealous in your uh, surroundings but you you stand above that you are strong you know you can stand tall if the bear stands on his two feet he's still big and he's still heavy nobody can move him then he gets uh, in um uh, in I forgot that word it's like he stands up he you can see him he's standing there in I'll have to have a look at that word sorry guidelines impressive impressive um, he makes an impression sorry about that um, and he's impotent impotent uh, that means I don't know whether it's a Dutch word or an English word but that's the word I'm hearing impotent 
um, and that means that he forces respect from others and he makes uh, a real impression on his environment. Somebody might be jealous of your strength, that you stand in your strength and nobody can budge you and you'll protect through thick and thin. Luck is on your side though, so don't worry. Be impotent. That's it. And you've got the Seven of Swords. Somebody might... This could be that jealous person that has left you. and Or they could be uh, the one that's leaving at the weekend. Because with the Seven of Michael, the Seven of Swords, um, is somebody sneaking away with five swords and leaving two swords behind. He's taking something or she's taking something with them that does not belong to them and they leave something behind. I usually think of this card as a he or a she um, leaving a partnership or a home or work and leaving um, sadness or uh, something behind a broken heart. In this deck you have to make a choice because you've got the high road and the low road or the left or the right but usually it's somebody depicted leaving with uh, five swords but he's got a rucksack so he could have put it something in the rucksack that does not belong to him and I always have to think of broken hearts so perhaps somebody that is jealous of you is leaving but it's better that way because then they can't hurt you anymore there is a better course of action available to you working alone may not be the best answer. Reveal all the details. Somebody's not being true to themselves or to you. The one that is sneaked away. They didn't want a confrontation. That's also always what I'm saying. Uh, that's also what I say always. Somebody's sneaking away because they couldn't stand the, the power, especially with the bear here, that you have that strength that you have somebody is jealous obviously and they can't go up against you and they feel defeated so they sneak away because they can't stand the competition or the confrontation you've got the garden the garden meets means uh, meetings well they will be cyber meetings now and gatherings so you might be gathering and there might be somebody coming back from the past um, the, the garden means um, networking, somebody coming back from the past, a reunion with family and friends. Uh, so that could be somebody that is left is coming back. There will be a reunion. Perhaps that could be it. Now the only person card that you have here is the King of Ariel. And the King of, of Ariel is the King of Pentacles. So it and he also represents uh, Taurus. But don't exclude Capricorn or a Virgo. But the King of Ariel is Taurus prominently. Okay? Because the Queen is Virgo and Capricorn is the Page. And so you have the King of Ariel. And I told you, um, you are strong. You are standing in your strength. You are in the spotlight. You are the magician. You can make it happen. Well, the King of Pentacles is also known for everything he does will turn to gold or it will turn out positive. So you, uh, he also knows how to invest because he stands for investing, knowledge of investing, knowing how to invest for with durability and for long term also in relationships and friendships partnerships so there you go so you might meet a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn your plans are working out very well professional and financial success using resources wisely like there might be uh, uh, somebody coming back or reunion in uh, uh, with uh, uh, 
there might be a reunion of some kind meeting somebody from the past or new people that you've met before you coming back uh, to a conference where you've met other people before you could also be investing in your company networking uh, because in the 16th, 17th century, they used to meet in parks and uh, gardens. Something is turning around 360 degrees. So if something was negative, it will turn out to be positive. You might be moving home. And there might be a birth. Like I said, moving home. Uh, this you no you didn't have the six of swords that was the previous so it was Virgo, but you have the sun, and the stalk also uh, means moving home, or three hundred to six, uh, sixty degrees turnaround in a situation issue or with a question, there could be a birth of a child or a new project a new work new investment, and look what is underneath lying the store you've got the basket of flowers. Somebody might be giving you a gift. Luck is on your side. You've got luck booming here, Libra. So I and this is really a card for you because you are always uh, weighing things up, just like the King of uh, Pentacles. He weighs things up before he invests in it. So go for it, Libra. Go, go, go. Take the right decision, the right road. If you do not um, know what to do then uh, ask for um, guidance from a professional okay now we've got codependency for the romance card so somebody is depending or uh, you depend on somebody else I think it's either um, somebody else um, somebody else is depending on you somebody that left they might there is a reunion so they might be back because they know how good you are they are codependent on you okay addictions are affecting your romantic life and if they haven't left or in the ha uh, or somebody has left in the past and they're not coming back it could be somebody around you that jealous person well, you've got a uh, glance, sheen. Uh, that is glance in Dutch is sheen, shining in English. Uh, discover your shining. You're shining like a star. Okay. Discover your sheen. And you've got number 26, so that's an 8. That's that power and the money house. So you are in your strength and money whoa the king of pentacles awesome wow it's up to you whether you will this is what i'm hearing whether you will take somebody back or whether you accept that jealous person in your vicinity so the, they might have left and they want to come back but if they are codependent is that really what you want try to talk try to talk and 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 communicate properly and like I said um, seek professional advice don't try to juggle everything you can't be somebody's backbone they have to be strong enough to stand on their own two feet especially in partnerships or relationships there has to be a balance okay Libra you are right in in trying to weigh things but you don't have to um, uh, support somebody a hundred and fifty percent you should support them a hundred percent and they should support you a hundred percent so that there is a balance they should have their own backbone a relationship is that one has their life the other has their life but you've got your life together so you're allowed to have your own friends your own work your own business but 
when you come at the end of the day uh, you are together you have your relationship so you in in fact there are three lifestyles here and that's sometimes difficult to maintain the balance but there shouldn't be any codependency to such an extreme that it loses control in the relationship okay so if you are not codependent and somebody else is then you have to think deeply is this what i want because otherwise they will leave again next time when they don't feel that they don't have enough attention or enough care or whatever or perhaps you are codependent on your uh, ex-partner that's why they left or perhaps you're codependent on um, a bad habit so as smoking drinking eating too much not exercising not thinking of the kids or others in the relationship so think about that who is the one that is codependent and is that healthy for the relationship or partnership whether it is in love or business stand your ground it could be somebody that is jealous of you outside the relationship and they depend on you it could be a co-worker it could be an employee it could be your next-door neighbor so think about it think and I hope this reading resonates with you and if it doesn't then please look at your rising sign or your moon sign and please share and like this video and I hope you are healthy and stay healthy and stay safe. Love you all. Take care and be blessed.